Uh, today we'll be going after blue catfish in Michigan into this peak right here. Gonna try a little bit of an experiment for the guys that have only got the low level gear. This is where you land. Walk out to this corner. Turn to your left. The house right by where my bobber is, that's where you want it. Aim about there. One of these out there, roughly six meters. Don't know what that is in feet. This method does work. I just caught a 19 point something kilo blue catfish, trophy catfish. Wine like crazy. And it's a 10 kilo fish. Just show you my tackle. It's 8 kilo setup. The mono is a 3 point, or a 0 0.35 millimeter. Which is once this loads seven point two kg line. It's not a bad fish for that weightage. Anything if you do have to have a bit of patience doing this, oh, straight my straight away. Oh, I get that rod tip down. Not bad. You can flick your, you can change casting, a different ways of casting from this. To this, this is easier for me, because I'm fishing very close in. I do believe it's F11, but I'm using a Xbox controller, which I've remapped. And the best day for the trophies is on a sunny day from um, 6 pm to 9 pm. She's in large cut baits, box 4 burrow. You can go up in hook size if you like. I have caught them on a 9 burrow.
Looks a bit easier doing that instead of recasting. I normally push about six meters out maximum. If you try and go any further out of this light tackle, you'll just get absolutely annihilated. And like fishing in real life, you gotta be patient. You'll find you'll catch two, two or three, one after the other, then you get 10 15 minutes of just sitting there waiting. So I just want to pull up a little bit of slack. So too much to scare the fish off. Oh, oh I might be in for it this one. Yep. That would help. This is what you don't want to happen. Yeah, I'm probably going to be here for 20 minutes trying to bring this fish in, if I can get it in. Yeah, I'd say he's going to run me over the line.
behind you. He's coming in quite freely now. And uh, get to a certain point, and they go, oh, well, what's going on? Take off again. I want that line tension to drop. Just going now. He's jumping out there, I can hear him. This is a pitfall for a fishing light line. Just gotta keep the pressure on them all the time.
And there is a way to lose a fish without losing any tackle. Just drop all your line tension. Yeah, watch. Now, that's what you don't want to happen. That's why when you're using this technique, you want to be as close as possible. Six meters, five, six meters, all bites are ready. They appear to wind. Oh no. And okay, you're gonna lose them. Quick enough, like that, you can do it. And what do you know, it's a 22 kilo fish on an 8 kilo line, or 7 point something kilo line. That's insane. Seven point two kilo line on mono. And I just landed that beastie right there. But just for a laugh, I'll show you something really funny if it's gonna work. A little glitch I found in the game. Go to here. At right beside the dock. Oh, there's a long go. Look at all that. It baits out the water and the fish are going after it. Oh, I hooked him. Not bad. What they normally do is they normally jump up onto this platform. See so if we can get one to do it. Oh, there's fish right there. My 
knocked that one up actually. Too close. Current should take it around. Wait. Yeah, a little bit. Ah, uh, can't get it close enough this time. Basically, where we're standing right now is on the hot spot for the um, blue catfish. I used to cast 14, 15 meters out to try and catch them. And I discovered this bottom state just mucking around one day. So I know that initially there was lots of complaints about this. Matt trying to catch the blue catfish. They were incredibly hard. But they updated it and they improved it. But as you can see, it's still pretty hard. Especially new level guys coming in. If you're this close, you've got a chance you won't catch anything. Let's go out a bit. We'll get one. There's one there. Toying with it. Ah, too soon. That's it for this video for today.